3D raining cats and dogs and it's uh, the 12th of uh, May it's 2017 it's around 8 30 a.m. in the morning we're going for about an hour or so and I walked right into this shed there it is there an elk shed been off for a while first find for an hour that's not bad And the squirrels have already started at it. They've been off for a couple weeks. A little five. Anyway, so I'll, I'll give this to my hunting partner or my uh, shed partner. I told my next shed I find it's his, and he get he gets it. So there, there you go. Walking along this way, and I'm looking down, and I see two. Anyways, we'll go down and take a look at it. The second one today we found. Pretty pretty good. <laughs> Better than nothing. It's just a little one, but it's gold, it's brown, and it's fresh. Like I said, you know, those bulls were feeding in here. It could have been a small raghorn with those cows, and sure enough, I was right. There it is. Yeah, a little four point. Right there. You see the other shed? Other side? I think so. Yeah. Great. I got a match. Haha, <laughs> hey, that's great. There's a matching side right there, about uh, what, 30 feet away? Not even yet. Not even that. But here we are with matching set. We combed this area here two weeks ago and they weren't here. So it pays back it pays off to go back and retrack it, you know, your area where you've seen elk before because what happens is uh, the younger bulls are still packing you know and earlier on and then you come back about two weeks later and then you find something like this it's laying right in the slash anyways we'll just put them right here there we are right matching set right there <laughs> Four matching sets this year now, Sid. There you go, buddy. I'm going to end up putting this here on. Hey, Out back. Ernie, Ernie, Ernie. Ernie, come here. Ernie, come here. Sit. Ernie. Sit. Yeah, see, that's I thought you were looking at those ones, or that one there. I didn't realize you were looking down there because from over there I walked up, and as I was walking up the hill, I saw the point sticking up. And I thought that's the one he's talking. made the call, eh? Yeah, that's why. Because I got him first. Because I made the uh, yelled out. There's one. Yeah, I know I didn't. Going along this way, and I just over to my left. There's an elk shed. Fourth one today. There it is right there. Take a look at it.
There it is there. It might be a match to the other side. One of the ones I found looks identical to the other two that I found. It's um the base on the one that uh, I thought it said that are 20 feet or 20 feet apart. They were uh, they were the base was smaller on one side. So I'm gonna chuck these ba the base on this one when we get it back. But it could be this could be a match to one of those other two. My partner was walking along this ridge here and. Underneath this tree, this bull must have been bedded. Anyways, he found this here weird uh, shed. It's a really weird looking one. Good find for him. It's a small one. He's lucky to find it. Anyways, well, he um, can take a picture and pick it up. Hi. I sure don't get rewarded for the miles I put on. I've been going since, uh, you know, uh, six o'clock this morning. I've been going. I'm going back into the big timber. Snow is, uh, it's like a hail that's covered the ground here. But what do you expect when you're up around 6,000 feet? Pretty bad. Very few elk. I've seen a couple bulls in the timber here earlier. They had about five inch growth on them and there was a spiker still carrying. About, uh, you know, 18 inch spikes on them. But I looked and looked around in there and I couldn't find nothing. Not like last year when I found a matching set of five point sheds. Elk sheds, that is. And I found uh, a matching set of four point elk sheds. But they just didn't drop them in there this year. They must have been lower down because of all the snow we had. I go back into this timber and um, go through it and head back down the mountain to my quad. But I guess I can't complain. I'm gonna pack her in. This is my last my last days tomorrow and I'm heading home. I'm packing her in for shed hunting. I got lots of things I gotta do. I've had a pretty good year. I found about 18 fresh uh, elk sheds. Four matching sets, so there's nothing wrong with that. I'm in the big timber now. I gotta go way down the bottom to my quad through this timber. <laughs> 